Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Kenny here today and we are back for another episode of the Vanity MC Prison Series. So, if you guys don't know, I haven't been on for quite a while. I haven't uploaded since Thursday and today is Monday. So that's one, two, three, four, five days pretty much that I haven't uploaded. And uh, you guys remember, I literally said that I'm going to be trying to do this series daily or as daily as I can. I mean, guys, I was just not able to do it. If you guys don't know already... Um, I actually was in the hospital for like a day and I actually got really really sick with the flu like I mean I couldn't get out of bed I couldn't even check my phone like my eyes my brain my whole body was pretty much aching So I definitely was not in a position where I could go and uh, you know get on the computer Even get out of bed and play some minecraft and record some videos So if you guys wanted to know candy where have you been like I know I saw your views starting to go up So I thought you'd grind this up or maybe like I don't know you quit the series or something I assure you guys I did not quit the series I was simply just like too sick to play and hopefully you guys can understand that and uh, let's go ahead and uh, get right into this one So uh, Rhodes probably really really ahead of me because I actually let him play I told him like don't play way too much since I was gone But you know Royal he's obviously gonna try to guarantee that win $500 is $500 guys right and uh, if he were to get sick Like I would probably do the same thing as he did so he definitely got a lead now I think he's at prestige 8 or prestige level 7 and uh, boys, we are we are stuck at Prestige 2 on Mine Y. So we're not doing too good. I think Royal actually went ahead and uh, got himself a private mine too, which we are going to be getting in this episode. Because as you guys can see right now, we have $6.2 billion. So we're going to go ahead and start off this episode by showing off the pickaxe. I've got myself a 3, billion, 3 million blocks broken, which uh, I mined a little bit while I was sick, like yesterday. But I still couldn't talk, so... That's why there's no episodes from there. As you guys can probably hear, I'm like still struggling to talk right now. It uh, it hurts a little bit. But you know, got to try to get out some episodes for you guys because obviously that's what you guys want to see. You know, a lot of you guys have been showing a really good amount of support for the prisons. So yep, we've got Fortune level 65, so that's pretty standard. We've got Jackhammer level 447. Uh, we've actually been upgrading that quite a bit and I, we're actually starting to see it like proc a little bit more now. I'm pretty happy about that. We also started upgrading our auto cell right now, but you know, chances are I'm not going to be uploading that one or upgrading that one anytime soon. We also got Merchant up to level 9, Haste 5, Explosive level 89, and Speed 3. So guys, I think I said last episode the meta was probably for me to start exploding, uh, all upgrading my exploding level and like lowering my jackhammer, but apparently uh, a lot of people were started telling me late game that jackhammer is probably the best thing to do. So I don't know if you guys remember, but in the last episode, I said that I was going to start upgrading my explosive and start like not uploading or upgrading my jackhammer as much. Turns out I changed my mind. I'm actually only going to be upgrading jackhammer for now. Explosive, even though it's like really good in the end game, I think it's going to be better for us to just go ahead and upgrade jackhammer until we have jackhammer maxed out and auto cell maxed out. Probably once we have those two maxed out. We could start working on Merchant, which will like give us more money per cell, and then we could start working on Explosive. So, that's pretty much the strategy for now, boys. But if we go ahead and look at our balance, we have a strong 6.2 billion, and we actually have 70,000 cell guns. Let me go ahead and start using up those real quick. Oh, snap, guys. I literally just ranked up. Oh, my God. All right, so we ranked up to Z, and this should upgrade pretty soon. But now that we are at Z, we should be able to go ahead and prestige up to level 3. So if you guys don't know what we can get in prestige level 3, that means me and Royal can use our private mines. You guys saw his episode. He can use a private mine right now, so I can go ahead and use mine. But let me go ahead and end up the slash upgrade right now. Oh, my God. I can't believe I just messed that whole thing up. But, yep, we got the upgrade, and we are just going to continually do our jackhammer. So we got it up to... 454 pretty solid now but boys now we can go ahead and do the uh oh i should probably go ahead and uh toss a couple of these in here just in case i get a uh, crystal from my rank up all right so we're gonna go ahead right now and do slash prestige and a pure est ige and then are you sure i want a prestige boom yep we do so dark campaign has ranked up to prestige level three we've gotten a tier four crystal as you guys can see in my inventory right there so now what that means is that we can go ahead and start using our private mine and oh my god guys we got three rare three rare creek crystals and we got 20 xp balls so we could probably sell these for like 200 million dollars total and we can go ahead and use the rare ones um so i'm gonna go ahead and start showing you guys the private mine right now that thing is actually really really op because if you go and hit up the warp vanity right now like guys i'm telling you there it's just so much of a pain to mine at because like there's people with explosive pretty much breaking every block like people mining in a bunch of lines it's so disorganized and honestly i think it's just much easier if i was able to literally just mine all by myself you know i'd 
be able to mine like a pace that I want to be able to basically do all the patterns that I want test out all the strategies and overall it's just like a lot less time to me because I don't have to like you know oh no where's the next block gonna be because someone with explosive just literally exploded the whole thing behind me so you know, right now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit up the island right now I'm gonna start setting it up for the private mine and I'll catch you guys back once I've done that Alright guys, so I went ahead and did slash private mines get, which is the command that I use to go ahead and grab my personal tier 3 40 by 40 and uh, we've got 7 days left on this one. So if I go ahead and place on my cell, you and only you ever. So basically I am the only personal, I'm the only person who can use this one and it's equivalent to the owner rank mine. Uh, that one is like, what is it, all pretty much emerald blocks or I don't even know like what's going to be in it but I mean it's equivalent to the owner ranks mine so it's got to be pretty pretty OP guys you know what? let's go ahead place it down right there and uh whoa there should there would be something in the way if I did that uh oh that's not good let's see if I place that right there what about okay so I think what I have to do is I actually have to go ahead and break all these blocks right down there so let's go ahead and break all these really quickly I just kind of use those to get up there and holy crap the good thing about having a really fast pickaxe is that never mind it actually doesn't break everything I was about to say it literally breaks everything all the way down but if I go ahead and probably stand up here and literally just kind of fall down it should pretty much break everything and of course these ones are pretty easy to break and then boom we should be able to go back all the way to the top there and I'll uh, place this bad boy down and let's see how much we can make off this good place this one right there and uh, Holy crap that looks holy crap guys. This is huge. Oh my god. So how far down does this thing go? I right, so it actually doesn't go down uh, that far I mean it looks like it kind of gets trapped over here But nonetheless we could probably place it a little bit lower to the ground actually Yeah, you know, let's go ahead and do that one so the mine doesn't look as deep as the ones from before. So I feel like if we go ahead and place it right down there, um, the mine should not go all the way down to the bottom. So yep, it goes pretty much down to like Y60 and fills up the whole area. So all we gotta do right now, boys, is go ahead and place it down one more time. And then boom, we've pretty much gotten our uh, personal mine. So let's go ahead and see. We can keep this for seven days, I'm pretty sure. Unless me and Royal are gonna be changing the rules on that one. We're gonna have a permanent one for ourselves. But let's go ahead, start whipping out back our backpacks and and let's see if we can get anything good out of this one. So this is my personal mine. Literally me and only me can use this. Everybody like who's looking from the warp can watch me mine. But uh, you know, basically it's just me. I've really thought that since it's owner rank, it'd be a little bit better because it kind of looks like the vanity one still. Even though there's like a lot of emerald blocks, there's still quite a bit of diamond ones and uh Looks like we're actually missing some of the cell signs over there. So I think we're going to have to go ahead and uh, message an admin for a couple cell signs. All right, guys. So I just realized that I could actually place my own um, signs. I didn't really need to find an admin to do one. So I got one down here. And I also noticed that there's also one literally ready made over there. But that one's kind of far. Like if you guys are mining over there. So I'm going to go ahead and place one like one over there, one over there, one over there, one over there. I'm going to place a couple at the bottom too. Just in case I'm like trenching from the bottom. I'm basically going to place them anywhere, honestly, because, you know, I don't want to like have to sell all or start upgrading my auto sell anytime soon. Alright guys, so I went ahead and started placing a couple of signs and then I realized that every time this mine resets, the mines or the cells or the signs at the bottom actually break because like the block actually gets placed where the sign is and uh, it's kind of weird. So I actually got to be really careful now because I can't just like start running, you know, mining with left click and then hit this because the sign is literally going to break. So I got to like kind of stop and then right click for everything to go. So I don't know, it's pretty tedious. I don't know. The vanity mine is actually looking pretty appealing now. Now that I have to like look at all the steps that I have to do for this one. But the only thing is is that I don't really have other people bothering me. So uh, I guess that's one of the benefits from this. I can kind of see like when my jack hammer procs and uh, when it doesn't. But honestly, since I kind of have a little bit of explosives on this one, I'm kind of starting to already look like I'm in the vanity mine just because of like all the little dips and uh, stuff, random little holes everywhere. So I don't know. Um, at least we're selling like a decent amount of stuff. I mean, the only problem is, is that we don't have like sell signs on like, you know, that side over there. But either way, this should be pretty solid for us to make a good amount of money off of. Alright, so I ranked up quite a bit and we are back down to mine as so we go ahead and do slash rank up again. For us to get to rank T, it's going to cost us 500 and 94 million dollars so we are almost there 553 million um honestly boys i don't know if i should keep ranking up because the thing is what i'm thinking of is that i'd love to be buying tokens right now because obviously the more tokens i buy the more i can upgrade my pickaxe but the problem is guys is that you know if i only buy tokens right and royal like kind of buys tokens and kind of upgrades itself 
by the time realistically like my pickaxe is good enough Rover will already be advanced like i don't know maybe up to like level 20 or level 30 and first from there it's gonna be really really hard for me to catch up so what i think i'm gonna start doing is that instead of just going to like going ahead and uh buying tokens to upgrade my pickaxe i'm gonna kind of do a little bit of like half and a half i'm gonna upgrade my pickaxe a little bit and then i'm gonna like prestige a little bit upgrade my pickaxe a little bit upgrade my pickaxe and then prestige a little bit just so that way like royal doesn't build like too much of a lead because i know he has a pretty substantial lead right now but uh, obviously, I don't want to make it a little bit more. I don't want to make it like really, really substantial. Like, like have him at like low prestige level twenty. I'm at like still prestige level three, but with like a max pickaxe. Because honestly, I can probably sell a max pickaxe for like quite a ton of money in game. But then again, like I don't really want to do that. I'd rather just go ahead and grind it up by myself. Alright guys, so I just went ahead and did my rewards, and uh, we got a couple tier 3 tokens, a couple tier 2 ones, so let's go ahead and hit up the slash spawn right now, open some of these up, I should probably go ahead and toss some of these chests in, yeah, I wish there was a way to just like stack up these backpacks, but like make it so that way, you know, whenever you stack them up here, like you can't really fill your inventory with anything else, because it's just so obnoxious to like, I don't know, have it, uh, have to like put them all away just to open a couple keys, but you know what, we should be alright with that one, uh, it looks like somebody's opened up theirs, are all these being used, alright, so this one's not being used, let's go ahead and open up some some of these tier one keys, see if we can get anything good. Three XP bottles, 2500 tokens. That's not too bad. We got three grenades, that's terrible, but 25 million. Last tier one, come on, give me some money. All right, so we got 2000 tokens and uh 12.5 million, not terrible. But now we got to do the tier two one. Surprisingly, we actually got a decent amount of tier threes out of that. 8,000 tokens and two more rare because we actually have quite a bit of those to go ahead and open up after this one. Another 8,000 tokens and another 8,000 tokens. That brings us up to 77,000 tokens or 93,000 tokens. That one has not updated yet, but come on. This is the one that usually gives a ton of tokens. So hopefully we'll get some pretty good stuff out of that one. Uh, it was pretty much pretty much a rare key or pretty much a tier 2 one, honestly. But let's see. Give me something to get an epic crate key and uh, 24,000 tokens. All right. Solid. That'll bring us up to 123,000. Come on. Another 75 million. Okay, that's solid. And 35 million a what is that 110 million chest opening right there pretty solid boys so now what do we have to do oh, we have to go ahead and open up this epic one first obviously i think this is probably the better one out of the epics and rares so let's see if we can get anything good wow 32 beacons hell yeah guys i'll take that one that is a solid amount of money right there and of course we've got the rare ones what can we get 35 million we can get a couple of tokens we can get a rare pickaxe so not too much good stuff so we got 55 million from the first chest over there. What are we going to get from the other one? Another 55 million. So that'll bring us up to 1.8 billion. I actually think we'll be able to rank up uh, again. But I don't know if I should rank up. I'm thinking I just go to prestige level 4 or prestige level 5. Maybe start catching up to royal a little bit. And uh, then we you know, we can start like upgrading our pickaxe again. Because our pickaxe is definitely a little bit weaker than his. His jackhammer is I think level 6 or 700. So he's doing, he's doing pretty high. This guy's really spammy. Royal is better. But 35 million. Uh, I think that's the lowest we could get out of that one. Yeah, that was the lowest one we could have gotten. So, you know what? 35 million is uh, still 35 million we did not have before. So, we could definitely take that one, yo, guys. Like I said, really sorry for the low energy. I'm just not feeling well. Give it like a couple more days, and uh, I should be able to like be back to my usual energy self. But we've got three more crates to go. Let's go ahead and finish off this episode strong. Two more, another 7,500 tokens pretty solid um we're gonna go ahead and actually upgrade our pickaxe too if we get a couple more tokens 16 beacons guys honestly yo i'm not gonna say my strategy but it's involving beacons that is how we are gonna win this series boys we are gonna win with beacons that's all i'm gonna say and uh with that boys we are done opening these rare keys let's go ahead and hit up to slash upgrade right now and uh, upgrade pickaxe we're gonna hit jackhammer and then boom upgrade this all the way how much can we get this one to we've got it up to 469 that is solid boys you know what? we're gonna take these jackhammers we're gonna go ahead toss it into our pv and uh, not even look at them again